Israel has not spared a single Palestinian family in Gaza. Those who were not killed are injured. Those who are not injured are displaced. And those had thought found a safe haven in Al Ahli Hospital was massacred. Does this make Israel feel more secure now? Does this fulfill the need for unconditional support to Israel? According to the UN, families in Gaza have been bombed by Israel while in their homes or on their way in search for a safe place along damaged roads following an Israeli evacuation order that left hundreds of thousands of people scrambling for safety, but with nowhere safe to go. Israel resorted to unlawful collective punishment as a method of war, intentionally cutting fuel, water, and electricity of Gaza, and blocking the entry of a humanitarian aid. Entire residential neighborhoods have been razed to the ground. Homes, schools, UN facilities, health centers, hit by direct and intense Israeli airstrikes. Aid workers have been targeted and killed. Rescue teams are struggling to carry out their missions amid continuous airstrikes. Severe shortage of equipment and limited or with no connection to mobile networks. There's no power, no water, no fuel. Food supplies are running dangerously low. Hospitals, overwhelmed with patients and injured, are running out of medicine. Morgues are, off, are overflowing with bodies. Bodies are buried in mass graves. Israel ordered 22 hospitals in Gaza to evacuate, an order that WHO labeled as a death sentence for the sick and injured. This includes newborn babies in incubators. Mr. Chair, two million Palestinian people live in Gaza. Half of them are children. But Israel is dropping exclusive explosives as no civilian live there and acting like everyone in Gaza deserve to be killed. The mass killing of civilians and the scale of destruction do not at all indicate a so-called collateral damage, but rather indiscriminate attacks against civilians. What is this if not barbaric and brutal? Whitewashing Israel crimes in advance by proclaiming that Israel is not responsible for the killing of Palestinian civilians is inhumane and irresponsible, and it undermines the most fundamental rules of our international law-based order. Those doing the killings are responsible for it. We call on you to stand against Israel's crimes, to stop the massacres against my people, to stop the epic human suffering, and to ensure respect for international humanitarian law. Mr. Chair, dear colleagues, one thing, only one thing that deserves your unconditional support, justice, not vengeance. Thank you.